what's going on everyone out there thanks for watching this video it's a little bit off subject but I've been wanting to talk about this one for some time now also it's really been pushing my buttons so to speak literally so this is what's going on in the JW world in my part of town since forever or since the International District Convention at the end of June. we have been seeing these things all over the place. I'm getting tired of seeing them. You see that everyone? Tired of these buttons. They're pushing my buttons like everyone else. So, my wife's got three, four, five of these buttons that just sit on my dresser and I gotta see those stupid things every day of my life. Ah, uh, it's getting annoying. Very annoying. So after a while, a couple of weeks ago, I started putting these buttons away where they need to be. Away. And my wife would leave it on the dresser and I would put them away and my wife would leave them on the dresser you get the point you see what's going on here so one day my wife says why do you keep putting my buttons away and I said well because I don't want to see those things and there's a place for them and it's called a dresser so please put them in your dresser or put them away I don't want to see them anymore well it's because they remind me to do something and this is what it reminds her to do. And I will show you in a minute. Coming right up. What do you want? Well, hello. My name is Ricky, and I am a volunteer Christian minister in the neighborhood today. May I ask how you're doing? What do you want? Well, I just came to bring some good news. As you can see, um, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I came to bring these uh, encouraging magazines before. Have you seen these before? The Watchtower and the Awake? No, I haven't. Oh, this watchtower here, it talks about um, why do bad things happen to good people. So as you can see, the woman here, she had something bad happen to her. She looks like she's losing some blood. And if she's one of Jehovah's Witnesses, if she needs a blood transfusion, she will turn that down for sure. Because uh, we don't believe in accepting blood transfusions. And on the awake here, it talks about um, when tragedy st strikes, how can you cope? As you can see, we have a young lady here, and maybe her father or her grandfather is with her there in the hospital. And so what is the grandfather probably telling her? Oh, well, if she dies, that it'll be okay because we'll see you in the resurrection. And that's in the Bible at John chapter 5, verse 28 and 29. Can I share that with you? Hell no! Get off of my property! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, here's, here's these magazines anyways. On the back, you'll see this QR code. It's going to take you to a website. It's called JW.org. So please type that in, www.JW.org, and it'll take you to some more biblical information that you could find with you and your family. Are you a Christian? Get off my property! Okay. Well, would you mind if I came back next week at a time that's more appropriate for you when you're in a better mood? Slam the door. Yes, this is happening in a neighborhood coming near you. They're wearing these buttons out in field ministry. Some of them are still wearing their convention 
badges because they missed the international assembly convention, district convention, regional convention, whatever you want to call it, of Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, uh, it's just so annoying. Good Lord, JW.org, everything. But when I was a teenager, I loved basketball. And I loved the Chicago Bulls. And I loved Michael Jordan. And I would have got crucified if I would have done this. What's up, fellas? Y'all ready to play some basketball? What is that? Is that a human jersey idolatry? Oh, brother. You better... You better take that thing off and burn it. That is idolatry. It's just a basketball jersey. I like the guy. I like Michael Jordan. Who doesn't like Michael Jordan? Who doesn't like him dunking on people? Shooting threes and going like that after he makes his threes. Who doesn't like that? I mean, come on, brother, really. Brother, if you don't take that off, I'm going to take this to the elders. And we're going to take this to Jehovah because that is idolatry. So I know that sounds a little extreme, but that is pretty much... Uh, what happened when I bought that jersey when I was 17 years old I still have it to this day I went to go wear it to go play basketball with some brothers and I was told to go take that jersey off even though I didn't have an undershirt to uh, replace this with which I didn't mind playing basketball without a shirt back in those days I was fit but um, yeah I had to go play basketball without my shirt on uh, because I was an idolater having a Michael Jordan jersey to go play basketball I don't endorse the Bulls anymore I'm a hometown fan but you know how it is when you're a kid you're a bandwagoner you go after the team that's winning but anyways, I just, uh, that JW.org stuff is really getting old pretty quickly. So I wanted to make that video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.